Final Factory, episode 11. Welcome everyone, this is Chill Gaming. Uh, last time we finished off with, um, I'll just drag this in to show you, our bus. Um, which was doing fine, but what's killed it is, I added a few items after this, nothing too major. Like a couple of cargoes or another power su uh, supply, singularity thing. Um, and I've got the dreaded red X's come up, which is stability. So I deleted just the two buildings that I added, so it's exactly the same as the save that was working. The red X's wouldn't go. Um, and then eventually I deleted other things to try and get it back. And I had power issues because the Dyson Sphere production all went down. So I thought this is what prompted me to you know, be so long between episode 10 and episode 11. Um, I thought I'd come back and give it another go, but the game is now transitioning towards uh, being more mobile. He, w he likes the idea of Megabase, but I think the design from according to Ben, the developer, was uh, to be more of a mobile game. So that brings me neatly to this. Um, but while we're talking to Ben, if he's listening to this, uh, yes, they don't pull the miners from the shipyards. I've got 20 sitting in here, and they don't pull them to replenish these. What they do is they're coming from my beginner base down here, which is what I started out with, and it's building ship the three ship types here. So the science, miners, and the bats. And this is where it's pulling them all from. It's not pulling them out of the shipyard here. So that's got that head 20 in. It's pulling them directly. So as they release here, they go straight out. It's, I don't know if there's a problem with the shipyards, I don't know Ben, but maybe you can look into it. Anyway, getting back to this guys, um, this is our little 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 minor ones, uh, stations, that you can move around and um, plonk on an asteroid. So when this depletes, you just move it to the next one, you just go, you know, enter it and move it around. Um, it's tricky to land because you've got to get the, so it doesn't overlap on this side. And when you build it, guys, build it around a mine. Otherwise, you will not be able to place those because it won't let you. So I, my advice would be is to place um, the blueprint down. So if you go into this, if you want the blueprint, let me know. Um, and I can put it up on a Steam or something. Um, now, if we go into this here, you'll see it in a minute. Um, I've got to find it. I've got so many of them. Mobile miner. So this is slightly different. So I can see, as you can see, I've read. So if you put it here, you can play around a bit to get it to fit. If it doesn't, then um, I'll just exit out. Hang on, let's go back, grab it again. I do control C this one, I suppose. So something like that. Don't worry about the, sh the cargoes, you have to add them anyway. So if you press R and you try and play with it, there you go, so it goes in there. And that's how you got to do it, that's how I would suggest you do it. You build it around a minor station. Now these, uh, to move ores out of uh, the little storages here to this processing ship that just processes stuff into basic medium density in this case you have to manually put, after you placed it in its mining, the cargo ones and then you can drive this ship to it and it deposits and you know, puts it all around it etc. Um, when you move the ship um, hopefully, I mean look at that blueprint we just put down here, it takes these with you which is great it solves the problem um, but when you build these, when I was making these blueprints and putting these cargo ones in the create blueprint, it wouldn't let me um, have these on it for some reason. I mean, I might try it again actually to see if it actually works now. Not too high. Go there. Just to see. Oh, it might save them. So we might better forget that idea, you know, the idea of having to manually put these. Just see as it goes on. Um, it's the nuances of it. So I've got three here, three miners sitting on. These asteroids. Um, if I press M, we zoom out a bit. You can see we've got here two suns for a Dyson swarm. Uh, we've got a planet here, and I think there's another one around here somewhere. 
I just haven't explored enough yet, but uh, I can put the planetary science here. So if we go back to the science itself, as you can see, everything now needs planetary. They've changed the um, the research because uh, you know I'd, what I've done is um, when I started, I just literally sat here for ages, uh, fending everything off until I got all of the research done. And now these are um, going dormant. What I've got to do now up here, going back to this, is create more ships that produce stuff. Um, the tricky part we've got is, I mean, this thing's fine. You can do all the basic processing to copy this ship. And then it'll just have everything sitting, waiting for you to transport it out to the next stage. Um, but with a mall, uh, you've got to somehow store all three types that you're basically making from the three different ores into it that it goes through and around the ship to make said products that you then got to store out somewhere um, especially the ones that are needed for more advanced production um, yeah so that's going to be interesting because I was hoping not to have to do them all but I might do a very small mall maybe here somewhere as you can see this is out of the little diamond the star area is here um, what I might do is get Garrick's mod, uh, the tow, I think it's with the, the ones you build the little um, bots for, because that tows everything I think. I don't know if he's managed to get it so you can tow these space rocks out of the way, but if I can move the Stargate here, or the warp portal up here somewhere, to put it near, there's going to be one, there's one there. Um, what I could do is as I explore out here, see if this is not needed here if there's nothing else decent around here and move that to somebody else somewhere else more useful maybe over here because at some point we'll utilize these two and then if there's more up here then great um, but yeah so that's how far i've got with it um, hopefully you'll join me um, in the future episodes uh, to see how far we get with this because um, as I say it's just going to be an ongoing thing that's going to take time to develop these um, stations to get them to work because I've now also got I'm going to have to make the singularity power station um, and I'm not entirely sure when we come to be able to research this for the comet catcher because in the early days you used to have a ship that you could catch comets on which was great but I'm not entirely sure whether Ben's going to incorporate that into um, the ships now because if I recall he, he can correct me if I'm wrong he stopped that from happening because it's been abused something in the early days he can correct me if I'm wrong um, but I will try and do a ship for that as well so um, the plan will be in the coming episodes I mean this one's going to be short but it's just to keep you updated guys um, the plan will be is to do the three processing ships a central storage ship that collects all of the process materials and then that lands at a central point um, you know, up here somewhere it will land this is my thoughts anyway it will probably change um, it's another ship that will then build the materials uh, from those so it'll build all the basic stuff you know like all of this kind of stuff so um, as an example low density medium density will build you the connector pipe uh, medium density will build you the cargoes etc etc all what we can do with what we've got um, and then they will be stored um, on the outside now this is going to be the tricky part again from the manufacturing side to the outside. Now I'm going to see if cargo bots will travel. I'm going to build a basic little tiny ship, one engine, a little factory, cargo bots, and I'm going to put cargo bots in it. And I'm going to put these uh, not cargo, but logistics bots, let's get it right, into it. And then a couple of cargoes on the outside. And I'm going to do four of them, just a little tiny square ship. And I'm going to create the blueprint, move it, see if everything moves, delete it, recreate the actual ship again from a blueprint, and see if it still works because uh, maybe that was a bug the other day that was causing me problems if that does then that opens up possibilities of us creating um, you know if I had a factory here and it was output there and the logistics side was here to, you know, to go out to another factory 
I can then use the digestive block from there to here. Saves on all these cargo tubes. Um, and as long as it moves with it, great. Right. Uh, you know, the world's your oyster. But uh, we will see, because it saves up a whole load of logistics problems. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for joining us. I uh, know this one's short, and I normally do a lot longer ones, but um, it's just to keep you guys in the loop. So I get asked every now and then, will I do any more Final Factory? Um, and I was going to wait for the next big update before coming back. But because it's a mobile thing, I'm going to try, if it's possible, to do the whole factory mobile. Wish me luck. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's this is where we've got to now. And the plan will be um, to scale this up. Um, you know, have more of these on different asteroids as and when we need them, and have some that goes along and. Um, either like this that grabs the minerals, puts them into the basic, you know, processed minerals, then dumps them to a central storage, as well as a central storage uh, or courier that comes to this side, collects the same materials but stores them in the central storage so they can be used for something else. Just depends what we need, um, and we'll go from there. But thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe. It helps my channel grow, and I will see you in the next episode. Take it easy, guys.